Hey, remember that time we fucked up a free community event called Crime Fest? Yeah, we don't either, so have all this new free shit. In all seriousness, Hoxton's housewarming party has come and gone, and it's been one hell of a ride. So, let's take a look. Hey, we heard you like hard things. Two new difficulties were added. Death Wish's younger brother and... <laughs> you guys really fucking hate yourselves, don't you? Mayhem is, in all accounts, Death Wish's younger, less interesting brother. Uninspired and unimpressive. It's hard, but not quite as good. One down difficulty is an entirely different story, as only those who are really masochists can enjoy this clusterfuck of pain and strained friendships. It's essentially Overkill's way of saying, think you're tough shit, huh? Fuck you. Once upon a time, Overkill said that a safe house update was in the works. Fast forward to day two of this event and we get John Cleese's house of great grinding game mechanics. A lovely house that is somehow still tagged with shitty graffiti that some fucking 16 year old thinks is art. We get continental coins that we can upgrade the safe house with because why would the house be in max upgrade before we even move in, right? It's not like we're fucking billionaires with a crippling amount of money to spend or anything. Hey, Mafia 3 is out, so let's capitalize on the eventual failure of that game by making some masks. Hey, you like some masks? Well, his overkill got you covered in the best in the face covering department. Getting tired of wearing a tiara that somehow counts as a mask? Well, then enjoy these lovely Mafia inspired masks that looks like plastic surgery gone horribly wrong. You get a lovely selection from Al Capone's Donut Obsession to every vanilla white Mafia guy to Joe Pesci and some black woman, hashtag diversity. How shocking, said no one ever about flashbangs. Hey, tired of being banged by the cops and their flashbangs? Well boy then, we have the surprise for you. Teach those pigs a lesson by blinding them with a painful white flash. Upon seeing the white in their eyes, they'll realize that you aren't a young black male and will go hunt down minorities like they were meant to do. Foolproof! Who needs real content when you can have a safe instead? Hoxton has finally realized the true way of making money. Fraud. So he's implanted his very own safe into the game for us to get a shitty SMG skin out of. Hell yeah! You go, girl. Medic! Now what is the police force missing that could possibly end the ring of fucking maniac robbers committing genocide on your men? Well, Medic, surely. These Swiss flag looking fuckers will keep their pals alive from a fatal shot from a robber. Shoot their friend again and he goes flying to the moon in a haze of blood and confusion as his medic buddy moves onto the taser that's currently making you seize in fabulous fashion. Shake it, girl. You can't kill that taser if you fucking wanted to. Hey, uh, masks are cool, right? Ever wanted to look like a failed pickle abortion? Well, now you can with Shane's newly fashioned masks. He says they're from war, but we all know he just went to some Halloween shop to pick up these beauties. Choose from Akeem's South African Dream, a helmet, the final boss of this year's Halloween battle, and a snow hat. Truly fantastic. Mutators. Ah, mutators. What a fresh and totally never before done addition to the chaos that is Payday 2. Ever wanted bulldozers to have a shield in front of them? No? Well, too fucking bad. Here you go, cockface. This is a great way to get a single trophy and realize that Overkill is out of ideas for this game. Can't wait for the Mutators expansion DLC. Also, there's a, a seal mask. Yeah, that, that kind of seal. Something that most definitely doesn't go boom. You know what Payday 2 needs more of? Pathetic shotguns. And not even that, but let's make it a secondary shotgun. Whoa, how cool! This little piece of shit couldn't kill a bird if it tried, but hey, at least we got a new weapon, huh? Classics never get old. Ever wanted to run around a beaten down apartment full of two-bit gangsters to steal a panic room full of what we assume is money? Well, go buy Payday the Heist. But if you don't want to go buy more stuff from the Payday franchise, then Overkill has got you covered. Ever since Overkill realized that they could just repackage old heists from the first game into content for this game, they've been hard at work doing literally nothing. And people love it! God damn, this is way easier than adding microtransactions into a game during a free update event for the community. I actually quite enjoyed this event, so fuck you.